Is my husband breaking furniture when angry acceptable? I'm 26 female and he's 33 male. Just a backstory we have two young kids, been married for eight years and he cheated a year ago. I was shocked and I'm still scared that I'm going to be dumbfounded again. I'm trying to get over it but sometimes it gets the best of me and I start crying. I feel like I'm looking for support from him or just confirmation that my feelings are okay. All the triggers and stuff. We've been good but sometimes I get upset. I got upset with my husband earlier and was being a bit emotional I may have been hormonal. He was like acting super annoyed with me when I was asking him questions I asked him if what he was doing nd he was annoyed. I asked why he acts so annoyed and I started crying I felt like he was being rude I was also hormonal I guess I was just looking for a hug or confirmation that it's going to be okay. I started crying nd he was getting angry and yelling saying I was too emotional. Anyways he proceeded to tell me I'm too emotional and to get over it he also mentioned he has no empathy idk if he's lying or like if he's using it as an excuse not to see how I feel. I was crying the entire time asking him why he doesn't comfort me if I'm upset. I was more upset now over the fact that he was screaming at me while I was crying this wasn't new but confirmed the fact that I just don't think he cares. He then got angry and went upstairs and broke our all our furniture. This isn't the first time. Every time I cry he breaks our furniture. It's been so many years of this and I'm just wondering like if this is normal. How do I handle this tomorrow? Im feeling like this is a bigger issue than just breaking things. TD. LR my husband broke our furniture after we argued and I'm wondering if this is normal or acceptable. That's not normal or good. Is there any way you can stay if you decide to work through it? I'd not stick around if possible. There is an implicit threat if he's breaking stuff in front of you to express anger. It's a form of domestic abuse and it definitely not okay. While a lot of the advice on this sub can be alarmist, this is a matter of safety for you and the kids. It's a short step from breaking stuff in front of you to breaking you or breaking stuff on you. It's also a terrible thing to model to your kids, as it's just not a healthy or acceptable way to express anger. Now what I won't say is that there's no way to work things out between you and hubby, but you are currently living with domestic abuse and the stats are not in your favor. Please seek help to ensure you and the kids are safe and I'd suggest making a report to the police for every incident from now on. Not normal. Acceptable? Well, that's up to you. Do you want to accept it? What are you willing to tolerate? I used to have a husband who once put his head through a wall. Emphasis on X. Breaking things because of emotion is a sign of mental instability. No one should be exerting their anger out on anything. He's borderline abusive. He might release his anger and frustration onto you if proper measures aren't implemented such as therapy. Not normal. Not at all. None of it. Please go look in a mirror and ask yourself why you're married to someone who makes you feel this way. Raging like that is absolutely unacceptable. It's juvenile and shows how emotionally immature he is. I would suggest to him that he needs to learn how to regulate his emotions or you can't stay with him. It's not okay for him to destroy things because he's upset. No. This is not normal or acceptable. The only good thing about it is that he's venting his anger on inanimate objects instead of you but there's no guarantee it'll stay that way. You both need counseling ASAP. I'll just add this. Typically, men are quick to call women emotional because they do not register anger as an emotion. If there's anyone you can go to, a friend, a trusted relative, take your kids and go. Bring a few clothes, some non-perishable food, and leave. Your husband is dangerous. Wow. He seems like a first-class asshole. Douchebag of the week for sure, after Putin. I would say leave, but since you have zero means of taking care of yourself and the children, just file for divorce, you'll get alimony and child support, or cheat on him, this is terrible advice but would love to see his face then, to see if he cares. When a man starts doing this just know that you are driving him crazy and he is kinda having nervous breakdowns and because you are his wife of course he can't hit you so he is taking out his anger and frustration on anything else even if it's going to hurt himself but beware cause you are very close from losing him to someone else who will give him the comfort I'm not saying it's only your fault but you have to calm down a bit and stop driving him crazy whatever the reason is if it's a valid reason then just talk about it if it doesn't change leave if it's a silly reason then trust me I feel sorry for him. Seek out a lawyer and get the ball rolling, seek both sole or primary custody, child and spousal support. He is manipulative and this is abusive, I worry for both yours and your children's safety. Although nothing physically may have happened to you yet, who knows what it may. Get some counselling as well, will do you some good. You deserve so much better.
well you're not a teen anymore and a grown woman whom he can no longer see as the young and naive person he can easily manipulate. You guys have been married for eight years. How long did you guys date before that? Think about this for more than two minutes and you'll find your reason why he is acting the way he is. Dot. Also what is up with Reddit being filled with innumerable posts with horrendous age gap relationships. Not acceptable. Slightly frowning face I used to have an ex-girlfriend who would break, hit things when she was upset and she would tell me it was because she wanted to hit me but couldn't. It's scary to be in that situation, especially because you have kids. He doesn't love you and you need to leave. This is abuse and not okay. It's not a deal breaker but if he doesn't learn to manage his emotions I wouldn't stick around. Edit. Read the other comments and more of your story. I don't know which country you're in but domestic violence hit lines and counseling is the place to start. Feel free to DM if you need some help navigating. Used to work in DV counseling, family separation for a non-profit in Australia. I lack empathy in a lot of ways, and get frustrated when I can't move on from a situation involving emotions. However he created his current predicament. And lashing out at you is uncalled for. I get you're working on your marriage after he cheated, but that's not something you really heal from. It's something that changed your relationship, took you trust and security away. He has the responsibility to build it back even if there are something you both can work on. It is absolutely not normal. And it's not your fault. He is gaslighting you. Get your things together, save up some money, and make a plan to get away from this man. No, obviously this isn't normal. Definitely not, sounds like rage, anger issues to be honest. Love when these toxic men made themselves believe that anger isn't an emotion. You're emotional too, dude. This is scary behavior. He cheated a year ago. He was getting angry and yelling. He was screaming at me. He then got angry and went upstairs and broke our all our furniture. This is not normal. He has an anger problem. He's abusive. Violence from anyone is never acceptable. If you get physical in any way, throwing things, punching things, punching people, screaming, throwing things at people, etc. Because you can't get your anger in check, you need extensive therapy and anger management. It's a slippery slope before you're being used as a punching bag and risk your fate being death at the hands of someone who's supposed to love you. Fucking break it off this shit seeming like it's about to get serious. Like spark your own growth by cutting the cancer away from you and your kids if you can't sever your ties to someone who fucked up that bad then what's it gonna be like when he starts beating you and your kids? And then you're gonna still think that you can change him but motherfucker that shit ain't ever gonna change. It's all about getting yourself in a healthy mindset and healing from that point after cutting him out of your heart. And if you don't your life could be just considered forfeit. The fact that he's putting you in a place where you have to ask this question is your proof that his behavior isn't normal nor safe. It's obviously enough to make you uncomfortable and if he loved you, your tears would be cause for concern, not a fight. He doesn't care, just get out. Question mark, question mark, question mark. Leave him. Do you even hear what you're saying? He cheated on you, yells at you for wanting comfort, then breaks furniture. That's foreshadowing for physical abuse, because it's definitely already emotional abuse. Please love yourself and leave. Eventually he's going to stop going for furniture and go for you or your children. What he's doing is showing you what he could do to you if he wanted to. Please document this and start looking for domestic and family violence resources in your area. Narcissistic. Research this on YouTube. Dr. Romani binge watch the entire channel. Please lock your phone so he doesn't see this Reddit post. Also turn off all notifications so it doesn't pop up on the home screen. Good luck and remember you are not at fault here at all. He is an abuser. Take care. Didn't even bother reading the body as soon as I read that title. Hashtag it is absolutely not normal. Not acceptable at all. He resorts to aggression to items as in furniture to take things out when he is angry. Very dangerous. You are in line of getting hurt if he resorts to abusing you. This is completely unacceptable. That's really scary and abusive behavior, I really hope that he doesn't escalate and hurt you or the kids. If I were you I'd plan an escape ASAP, even if all you can manage is getting to a shelter that would be better than being around this volatile man. Stay safe op -X. This is clearly not acceptable. The fact that you are writing about this here means you already know that. I also don't like how he's gaslighting you. BTW please do not think that by staying in this marriage you are doing your kids a service. I grew up with a dad like that, I wished my mum has divorced him and spared us from their constant fights. No one in unhappy marriage will grow up healthy.
Sometimes walking away and teaching your kids how to respect yourself may just be the best thing for them. Anyway, just my perspective. Do what you got to do. You already know. Not normal. I have an idea. What? Let's leave. That is intentional intimidation. This is abuse. This is not normal, okay, or your fault whatsoever. Your husband doesn't regulate his emotions and doesn't allow you to express yours. This is harmful for you and your children. Like you, I cry often especially when I'm overwhelmed. I also feel things very deeply. My partner knows this and makes me feel like it's okay to cry if I need to. You just got to let it out sometimes. Crying is not inherently bad, it's just a bodily function. Please don't feel guilt or shame or blame for crying or having emotions. I'm sorry you're going through this. I hope you find a safe place to go to figure out next steps. Hugs. No. If he's breaking furniture now, the next thing he's breaking is you. For your kids' sakes, please get the fuck out of there. Source. Currently living with an abusive father. Didn't even read the body of the post. No it's not. This is absolutely not okay. The violence will only escalate, this is not good behavior for your children to be exposed to. Look into women's shelters, they can help you and your kids get away. No, it sounds like he has issue. Perhaps it is time to talk to a mental health professional. It's not normal, good, acceptable, or excusable. I don't think there is such thing as too emotional, you were just a kid when you got together. Your reactions are your reactions. It just seems like you and your kids are in a very unsafe and violent and abusive and gaslighting environment. Dot. I would call your parents if you can and tell them what's happening and you need help to leave if that's what you wish. If someone who's you who are they, believe them. This is absolutely the furthest thing from normal. Leave. Divorce. This is not normal at all. This is definitely an anger management and emotional control issue and should be addressed by a therapist. This is also a potential precursor to physical abuse. It's also, frankly, hypocritical for him to get mad at you for being too emotional when he then acts too emotional by breaking furniture. Anger is an emotion, and crying, which is a normal thing to do, is far less emotional than getting so angry you destroy your own things. That's not normal or acceptable, it's abuse. Run. I know it's gonna be difficult at first. But please run. Been with six years relationship same as yours and I decided to leave. Luckily I have my friends and family that help get through it. It's not worth it. He doesn't care at all. Call a friend or family, relatives, anyone that can help you. I'm sure there's someone who is willing to get you out of that place. But if you decided to stay, then stop what you're doing. Make him feel the same as what he's doing to you. Look for higher salary jobs. Save your money until you can afford to leave that house with your kids. That's not healthy. We deserve to be loved and happy red heart virtual hugs. Lots of red flags here. Look up the wheel of power and control. Smashing property, invalidating your feelings, making everything your fault, and making sure you're financially dependent on him are all on there. Your feelings are valid, hormones or not. Please be careful op. Try to approach him during a happy moment and maybe question with him if you two should try to get some couples therapy. I was considered aggressive during fights with my ex. But breaking furniture. What the f? If anything I started cleaning furniture out of anger. I cleaned the whole house when angry and felt better afterwards. It's not normal and it's scaring your kids. This is bad yo. I hope you can get help. TD. LR my husband broke our furniture after we argued and I'm wondering if this is normal or acceptable. No. Never. It's normal. If you're in an abusive relationship with a destructive asshole who doesn't give a shit about you, or your property. Honey, you've got to leave, and get your children away from him. It's not the least bit normal, healthy, okay, and it's giving your children the wrong message.